okay first of all very good evening to you hello yeah good evening uh, so before we start with anything i would like to know your name as well as it's been how many years since you've been practicing yeah my name is uh, dr lakshman prabhu i am from mangalore karnataka the coastal town so i am uh, teaching urology in the kasturba medical college uh, mangalore of manipal academy of higher education so i have been in uh, urology for now more than 3 uh, decades 30 years can add 3 years of training to that my total urological uh, experience would be around about the 33 years now that's a journey we call right okay so heading towards the first question for kidney stone management so why do you think the number of cases for kidney stone are on the rise see there are two things here one is uh, a genuine rise that is because of uh, lifestyle diet environment fluid intake and the second thing is there is a higher detection because of uh, extensive use of ultrasound examination for other reason and a lot of asymptomatic quiet stone silent stones are being picked up so that is why we have this large number of uh, stone disease which uh, come to light which get uh, documented okay heading to the next question in your experience what precaution can effectively be taken by the patient to avoid getting kidney stone or if they have had it to not getting recurrent stones okay now there are a few stones which will invariably recur for instance if there is an infection stone which has been removed then uh if there are fragments left behind you know there is a tendency very difficult to prevent a recurrence similarly if there are issues like um, oxaluria or if there is issues like uh, cystinuria they are very hard to manage by simple measures otherwise by and large for most of the stones uh, good hydration and a vegetarian diet does uh, work wonders whereas if there is a specific metabolic problem like i mentioned cystinuria drug therapy is essential to prevent Okay so what is the greatest misconception that you think people have about kidney stone So the in fact the majority of them come to us when they have uh, pain but at the same time there are uh, stones which uh, are uh, silent and they can go on damaging the kidney silently and therefore uh, it is better that if there is a tendency to form stones one should uh, go ahead and uh, do a routine check up maybe once in 2 years or once a year so that will that is quite helpful but uh, the other thing is um, uh, thinking that every stone needs to be removed is definitely a misconception there are many stones which can be left alone which are uh, they don't cause much harm these are called surgically inactive stones which pass out on their own so therefore there should not be a panic so patients do both ways sometimes they neglect and sometimes they over react to you know this i would say that is it's a yeah. okay having to was the last question what are your go to kidney stone management solutions to patient well one thing is that i told you at the i think somewhere uh, at the beginning that not every stone needs to be managed because there are stones which can be left alone Uh, for instance if there is a small stone which is asymptomatic incidentally detected it can be left alone whereas the stones which cause obstruction or which have caused infection or which are severely symptomatic they need the intervention and this intervention can be wide ranging from the most conservative uh, analgesic therapy and uh, conservative uh, medical expulsive therapy to the most advanced uh, mini perk or even for that matter retrograde intrarenal surgery where a flexible scope and lasers are used to destone a kidney so these are the solutions and the current management uh, strategies okay so yes that's all lastly do you mind uh, saying any message for the upcoming urologist so i would say that uh, to all the upcoming urologists only one thing that enjoy your work and uh, don't miss out on science there is no need to overdo things there will always be work which will come your way and if you make a name for yourself through your ethical and generous efforts and make it patient centric uh, there will always be lot of work and you will go far in life so don't see patients as patients take them as uh, chikitsarthis who have come 
for uh, treatment from you and like we say atithi devo bhava i would say chikitsarthi devo bhava thank yeah, you very much uh, so yes it was pleasure meeting you thank you very much for giving your precious time have a great day ahead